hello you guys welcome back to the vlog so coming at you with a little week in my life or a few days in my life i don't know how far into the week we'll make it but it's monday so we're starting off strong i've just been working catching up on like a bunch of admin things all day and now it's like 4 p.m so i'm actually sitting outside of trader joe's about to go grocery shopping but that's it i keep staring at all the people walking by with all their groceries right here um i'm going in blind you guys usually i come in with I like write out all my meals for the week so that I know what we're gonna eat and then I write out my grocery list based off of that like meal plan and I didn't do that this time because I was like half lazy half hungry so I like need to go in and get a snack ASAP and then half or I guess a third um, I just kind of wanted to see what came to me you know it could be a bad idea that I'm actually pretty hungry going grocery shopping because we all know how that ends up especially at Trader Joe's with the snack section but my goal today is to find good gluten-free snacks so if you guys don't know I went gluten-free like a couple months ago I don't really talk about it it's just a thing it's a part of my life now um so I am all about finding like good gluten-free snacks I feel like Trader Joe's kind of lacks on gluten-free things if I'm missing something let me know down below in the comments like if you know any secret good gluten-free snacks for Trader Joe's please please send them my way I will let you guys know if I find any good ones today I have something to tell you if you guys haven't caught it already I got a new car this is this is her this is my new car I bought her this weekend actually um it's kind of spur in the moment like in the moment but I've been wanting a new car since pretty much like March <laughs> And I was being so indecisive about it and I couldn't make up my mind and I have actually been driving Richie's car for the past couple months just because like my old car which um, I used to have a RAV um, Toyota RAV4 literally loved her I had her for like 11 years I actually I don't know it was kind of emotional saying goodbye to my car I don't know about you guys but I feel like there's just so many memories and like things that happened in that car and i just had it for such a long time like 11 years of your life is so long like that's such a long time um so it was kind of like sad but also she was on her last leg and i really needed to upgrade and i've needed to for a while so i was going back and forth on a couple different car options and i had test driven a bunch and i was just kind of like seeing what was out there going back and forth on if i wanted to buy or lease or do a used car so it took me a hot second to like figure out what i wanted to do and then i finally figured out what i wanted and on saturday richie and i went to the dealership and i was like look if they have this 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 and this like if it checks these four boxes i'm just gonna do it i'm not even gonna think twice i've been sitting on needing to buy a new car for like like i said four months so we did it we got ourselves a Jeep Wrangler. I am so excited. Um, like I said, I was back and forth between a lot of cars and ultimately I decided to do the Wrangler because I just felt like I wanted to get a fun car. Like I wanted to get a fun car, an adventurous car, a road trip car. It's half the reason that I loved my RAV because it was so big. I could take it literally everywhere. Always was like the go-to with my friends and I and even Richie to do road trips in so I want another one of those cars I wanted a fun car because before you know it, I'm gonna need a mom car which honestly a Jeep Wrangler could be a mom car but you know what I mean so that's what I did pulled the trigger this weekend and now here we are in my new car and I love her I actually really want to take my car out for a drive because you can take like the top off the I think everything comes off but the back takes like like 15 minutes and two people to come off and you obviously have to like store the back but these two up here um in the front come off in like a second you just like slide them off so we're gonna take part of the top off tonight and probably pick up sushi and then go for a little drive to malibu and just watch the sunset so that i can go for a drive in my new car and it'll be fun anyways it's a good week ahead i get my hair done tomorrow so i will take you guys along for that um i have like a full-blown hair vlog this is just going to kind of be like a touch up and a trim but if you guys want to see that it's like much more detailed i'll link it down below and then wednesday i'm actually driving to san diego one of my best friends in the entire world is moving to new york and she's moving in like two weeks so i'm trying to get in as much time with her as i can before she moves so we're going to go to a padres game down in san diego and then who knows what thursday and 
and Friday holds, but it'll be a good week and I'll take you guys along for the whole thing. half of the groceries all the meat and veggies and everything but figured i would show you guys some of the fun slash different stuff so i got things to snack on like the small peppers and mandarin oranges i want to make the feta tiktok pasta so i got tomatoes and then a block of feta cheese for that i also got some figs and then gluten-free bread and this goat cheese i want to do like a goat cheese fig and honey toast in the morning i thought that would be good and different than what I usually have. This, you guys know because I've shared this on the vlogs before, is my favorite gluten-free pasta. It's in the refrigerated section at Trader Joe's. Cooks in like 30 seconds. Truly tastes like real homemade pasta. It's so good, but it's gluten-free. Also got these grainless chips. This wine I've also shared before, but you guys, it's $6.99 at Trader Joe's. It's one of my favorite. It's, I'm pretty sure... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I was gonna say a Chardonnay grape, but it's absolutely not a Chardonnay grape. It's a vignette. I couldn't even say that, but it is delicious. That's all I know. If you like kind of like the French light, crisp white wines, 10 out of 10 recommend. I have been wanting and craving gluten-free chocolate chip brownies for way too long now, so I just decided to snag them. Also got some Go Macro bars and our X bars. It was also already now wow i said i was going to share like new finds and half of this is repetitive of previous grocery hauls but the almond butter almonds you you guys know i got two bags this time because i'm literally addicted and then what else these also to snack on some little cashews and then lots of like i said like veggies and meats are in the fridge already you also already know cauliflower pancakes i actually need to stop sharing this to be honest because the past couple times i've gone to trader joe's this has been sold out so rude so this is gonna probably be my last time sharing it because i need them to be in stock so i grabbed literally the last two when i was there and then this is also a little different i've never had these before but i figured they might be like a yummy dinner maybe for the weekend or just like pop them on a grill or something but they're salmon and shrimp kebabs and then salmon and swordfish kebabs with like peppers and onions and they look really bomb so that's kind of a little a little sneak peek i'd say this is like half the haul everything else is just very like basic and boring and healthy we just got to the beach we ordered up some sushi for dinner we just remembered that it's actually the longest day of the year so we're enjoying it Oceanside. I got yep. some spicy, spicy tuna on top of crispy rice, and then this thing called a Venice roll, and then my signature eel avocado roll. Eel sauce, you guys, I cannot have sushi without eel sauce. Look at, look at this, we took the top off the Jeep. We drove down here, we're at Will Rogers. Look at this view right now. Top down, beach. This is the sushi that I got. These are the two rolls and then our other rolls. We're gonna have ourselves a little night. Do you want a crispy rice? Yeah, I'll take the other one. I took the jalapeno on mine. My new thing is crispy rice. I always say, what's spicy? Tuna about. Whoa! I always say sushi is like, I mean, I love sushi, but the most awkward first date. More awkward than hot wings? I don't think so. Why? Hot wings are a mess. Yeah, but. I feel like whenever I eat sushi, like, my mouth is so full. You know, like, it's hard to bite a sushi roll in half, so you like put the whole thing in your mouth and you're like, you know what I mean? That's true. So that's why I feel like it wouldn't be a good first date. 
because it just goes on top. Woo! Do you want to put the other one on too and I'll clip them on? Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. You have to get the peg in. The peg, there's a peg right here that you should get in. What? There's a peg. Oh, I see it, but... There we go. You guys, I am stuck in so much traffic right now. We're literally going like four miles an hour. And it's 3.30, I've been on the road for like an hour and a half. I'm actually headed down to San Diego and I've been driving for an hour and a half. I still have like an hour and a half left, but it's fine. Also, this camera setup is so janky right now because I don't have a phone mount or a camera mount for this camera yet. So I apologize for like this janky setup right now. Anyways, my hair appointment ended up getting canceled yesterday. So I really didn't do much because I kind of just like blocked out the entire day to be at the hair salon. So instead I just kind of like hung out, caught up on some work, um, took Duke for like a super long walk in the afternoon, just like nothing super exciting. So I didn't really break out my vlog camera that much, but now I'm en route to San Diego. Okay, JK, fast forward. The traffic lit up, so I had to <laughs> turn my camera off and pay attention, but I just got to my friend's house and I'm like sitting outside in my car because I'm early and I'm trying to kill time. But I'm in San Diego and gonna go get dinner with some friends and then we're gonna go to a Padre game. I brought you guys. Brought my baseball cap. My hair's up. Brought my baseball cap. Oh, it's really tight. I need to loosen up. I brought my San Diego baseball cap. I've had this like literally since I was a kid because I grew up in San Diego and I'm pretty sure I got this like years ago not even years ago like a decade ago I don't even know if you guys know what I'm saying because I had that clip in my mouth um, also I don't know about you guys but I feel like time is just flying like I don't know why I feel like I can't catch my breath I feel like I'm so busy even though I'm like I mean I guess compared to like the past year and a half I guess I'm very busy in comparison but I still feel like I'm trying to make time for myself to like chill and be my be by myself and like reset and all that stuff but I don't know what it is I feel like I need a pause button on life like the fact that July is next week excuse me what like what may april was literally two days ago and i just i can't i can't keep up like i feel like life was just in slow motion for a year and we had all the time in the world to ourselves and now i feel like there's it's almost like there's this pressure to have like the best most fun filled summer ever like i don't know if you guys feel that especially on social media but given that all of us kind of had like our summer in some way shape or form like ripped from us like don't get me wrong i really enjoyed last summer i definitely made the best of the situation i feel like so many people did but i feel like it was definitely different for everyone in different ways and so much of last year was just like pulled out from underneath us that we finally have life back and it's like we literally went from zero to a hundred in no literally no time at all and i don't know why i thought there was just going to be so much more of a like ease back into reality 
and I don't know if it's just like, I don't know if everyone's feeling this way or if it's like different parts of the world or different parts of the US or like what it is. I know everyone's like circumstances are different. Being in LA, LA has just been like very shut down for pretty much an entire year. And given that like our mask mandate and everything was lifted like a week, a week and a half ago, which is wild. Then it's like weird. Sometimes I sit back and I'm like, time is flying. I just wish that I could pause. I just wish I could pause or just like press slow down because I feel like before I know it, this year is gonna be over and it's gonna be 2022. And I don't know if you guys know this or if I've mentioned it on the vlog, but I'm 27, turned 27 in March. And it just, and I know I've, everyone feels this way obviously, but it just feels weird to start a pandemic when I was 25 and then you just blink and now I'm 27. And it's just weird because before I know it, I'm gonna be 28 and time is just going so freaking fast. This entire just past year and a half has been a roller coaster of emotions and feelings and all of the things. And I don't know, I feel like I've never really talked about it on the vlog, but just know that you're not alone. We're not alone. Feelings are feelings. And it's just been a roller coaster. And that's all I have to say. Wow, I wasn't expecting to get so deep on the vlog just now I have to go 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 to my friend's house right now but that's it that's all I have to say my tangent is done and tangent but anyways it's gonna be a good night I will try and take you guys along for the adventures I might sleep here at my friend's house I might try and drive home tonight I don't really know the baseball game isn't until like 7 and so I feel like I don't even know how long baseball games are, like two hours, three maybe? I don't know. So depending on what time we get back to her house, I can't decide if I should sleep here or stay. I packed a bag just in case, but I guess I will keep you guys updated on that. You'll find out for me most likely tomorrow morning <laughs> what I end up doing, but yeah, that's it. That's the update. Time to go have ourselves a little fun girls night. No. Oh my god. Oh. You guys. Oh. This was literally full. I filled it up before I. This was literally full before I left. And I just picked it up to have a sip of water. And it is empty. Oh my god. It is soaked into my seat into the new car. Oh. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to figure that out, like ASAP. Oh my God, but anyways, it's the next day, it's Thursday. I ended up spending the night at my friend's house last night because we didn't get back from the game until like 1 a.m. or like 12, 30 a.m. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna as much as I really wanted to go home and like wake up in my own bed and just be here I ended up staying and it was actually kind of nice because then We just like woke up. I worked a little this morning and then we went and got breakfast Took the top off the Jeep and went for a little drive. It was nice So I just actually got back to LA and it's now 3 p.m. So so we're doing great. <laughs> so we're doing great. I have so much work to do. So honestly, I'm pretty tired. I was like chilling because I kind of slept in to like 8.30, which is not like me. So I was fine. And then in the last like 20 minutes of the drive, I got really tired. So I'm probably gonna need like a coffee or something right now. 
and then I have a bunch of work that I need to do when I get home um, or I am home so when I like walk in the door <laughs> oh my gosh but it was really fun it was a good it was a good little girls night it was really nice um, also I'm gonna vlog this weekend get back I want to get back into like our usual weekend vlogs and start doing it like every weekend because I love them um, so if you've been missing them so have I we're getting back into the swing of it but I have been going to bed so late and waking up so much later than usual and I feel like this weekend I need to just bite the bullet and like wake up at like 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. and just shock my system so I can start going to bed early and like just be back on track with my sleep schedule next week because this week was just ridiculous with how late I was going to bed and how late I was sleeping in and it's just it's when you wake up at like 8.30 or 9, like your whole morning is gone. So we'll see. We'll see how this weekend goes with waking up early. I'll keep you guys updated. But anyways, now I'm just sitting in the car per usual, wasting time because I don't want to go inside because the second that I go inside, I'm basically going to go and get some coffee and then start working immediately. And I'll probably be there. It's already 3, but I'll probably be there. Oh, I don't know. I don't um, you guys, I am wasting my time. I need to go in and do work and get coffee and do things. So I will see you guys on the other side. Also, you guys, this is the car. I realized I hadn't showed you her. So she is all black on the outside. And this is what she looks like. This is the new baby. Four-door little cheap Wrangler bean. I'm like obsessed with her. 